Hi everyone, welcome. I hope you're all doing well. Um, sorry we can't meet at Salt like we usually do um, at the Girl Guides Hall after school. Um, but instead, the leaders have come up with something really cool. We're going to be doing virtual Salt. It's going to be really cool. I'm really excited about it. And so this is what we're going to be doing over the next few weeks. So thanks for joining me. Um, me and the leaders are super pumped. We're going to be doing some cool things like a news interview, just like we did last week. And we're also going to be doing uh, the question box as well. Uh, so you, if you have questions, um, tell your parents and they can send them to me in an email. And then next week on Virtual Salt, we'll be able to answer them together. Now, um, who can remember what we've been going through at SALT? I'll give you three seconds to see if you can remember. If you guess the I am statement, you are correct. So, over the past few weeks at SALT, we've been going through the I am statements. And these are different things that Jesus has said about himself to show us uh, who he is to tell us who he is. Um, now, this week, we're moving on from that a little bit, and we're going to talk about Thomas the Doubter. Now, Thomas was one of Jesus' disciples. So, over 2,000 years ago, when Jesus was here on earth with us, he had 12 disciples, and they were like 12 um, of Jesus' friends. And one of them was called Thomas. Now, we're, we actually have a news interview with Thomas. And so I'm going to pass it over to Juliet to the news and she's going to interview Thomas. Take it away, Juliet. Thanks, Coden, and welcome to Salty News. I'm your trusted host, Juliet. This week, we have an incredible interview with someone from, get this, back in time. Whoa, Thomas, are you with us? Yes, Juliet, I'm right here in Jerusalem. Glad to be talking to you. Uh, so, Tommy, tell us about yourself. When and where are you from? Well, I'm from ancient Jerusalem, actually. And I personally knew Jesus when he was on the earth. He chose, to, he chose me to be one of his disciples. I'm here today to tell you about my story in the Bible. Wow, you're in the Bible? And you actually knew Jesus? That's crazy. Yeah, I know. Looking back now, I almost didn't believe it myself. Well, Thomas, I hear you have a nickname. Would you uh, care to tell us more about that? They call me Thomas the Doubter. That's a weird nickname. How did you get that one? Where to start? So a leader, Jesus, was killed by some Romans and the other disciples were freaking out. But he didn't say, he didn't stay dead. He came back to life. When Jesus came to see us, he saw everyone except me. I was out of the house at the time. They told me they saw him in the, in the, when I came back. I just couldn't take their word for it. Even Jesus told me before he died on the cross that he would rise again, but I just couldn't. If you couldn't believe based on what the other followers of Jesus told you, then what would make you believe? Basically, I said, the only way I would believe is Jesus personally came to me and I could see the holes in his hands from the nails and poke him with my fingers. I wouldn't believe. Well, Thomas, that's a bit gross. <laughs> Did you ever end up seeing Jesus again when he came back to life? I did, in fact. He told me to, to touch the marks on his hand and side and urged me to believe. He also said something really important. If you believe because you have seen me, bless the ones who have not seen me and yet believe. That must mean that people like us can still believe in God. It must be possible for us to believe in who Jesus was and what he did, to, to trust God and his words in the Bible. He even calls us blessed because of it. I guess truth doesn't really have an expiration date, does it? Yeah, there, was so, there were many who saw Jesus and didn't believe, even back in my day. So it's great to see people trusting in God and what he says in this day of age. How amazing, how amazing that Jesus has followers from all over the world and all over time. Yeah, definitely. 
It is normal to have doubts though, isn't it, Tom? Absolutely. We're human. We are not perfect, but it, but it would be a good idea to ask God in prayer and about things you have questions about, as well as the guys itself. Absolutely. We would love to hear from our viewers out there and do our best to answer any questions that they have. Thank you so much for talking to us, Thomas. As for our audience, we will see you next week to bring you more salty news. Well, that's it for Virtual Salt today. So thanks for joining us. And remember to send in your questions and we will answer them next week on Virtual Salt. So thanks again for tuning in. We will see you next week.